Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tidwell Taste Tour. Coming to you yet again in 4K ultra high definition resolution. Thanks for joining. How you guys doing tonight? I'm okay, how are you? You seem so good. It's some stuff that's going on. Something's going on, what's going on? I don't on? know what's going you on. You tell me what's going on. I don't know. Well, you he should know. Seem off, some, degree of fuss some degree of fussiness. I seem off? Some you seem off. I agree with him. <laughs> huh? Some degree of fussiness is going on. I'm off. I'm not off. No, I agree with you, I said. I agree with you. Yeah, that I'm the one. That you're the one that's off. Ah, oh, yes. It's usually. You're both off. It'll off. Anyway. <laughs> this video is going to be us checking out the Goose Island Autumn Ale. It is 6.7%. Didn't expect it to be that big. 6.7% alcohol by volume, 65 IBUs. Okay, well. Chicago, Illinois, Baldwinsville, New York, and Fort Collins, Colorado. So I'm just going to Fort Collins, Colorado as well. It's where, like, um, a lot of breweries from there, but the biggest one would be, um, uh, fuck, what's the one that, oh, uh, shit, what is their name? This is going to kill me when I think of it, because you, Fat Tire, the one that does Fat oh, Tire. Oh, New Belgium. New Belgium, yeah, they're from Fort Collins. Yeah, but at least, but they're not, they're not scamming. I don't, I'm not skeptical true, true. of them. No, they're just good beer coming from Fort yeah, I'm not skeptical right. of them. I'm skeptical of the, whatever that right. one place. What was that place? La Crosse, Wisconsin. La Crosse. I, yeah. yeah, fuck that place. Something's going on there. They're scamming. Pouring the color of autumn leaves, our red ale opens with pine aromas and its spicy hop flavors and dry finish warm every sip. Grown for Goose Island at Elk Mountain Farms. That's where the hops are from. Interesting. All right. Hey. Typically, I like Goose Island products. I like the smell of it. Bug might not be such a huge fan. That's yeah, probably not. The, 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 uh, the IBUs sound a little intimidating. To me. <laughs> <laughs> intimidating? <laughs> intimidating. Yeah, I'm a little scared of IBUs that high. I'm not usually a fan of the reds. I like red ale. This one isn't a typical red ale. This is like a. Oh, this is not. It's pretty good. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's very English IPA. Like, very. Um, the hops are. It's 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 pretty hoppy, but it's not like a new age like American style IPA. It's more like the English style. I feel style. like them pitching it as an autumn oh, ale. Yeah. yeah, I'm very confused um, by that. It's almost like t like maybe ten percent red ale mixed with ninety percent pale ale. The brewery was born the same year as me. There you go. Look at that. So there you go. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't taste like I don't taste like the spiciness that you have. No, no, no. There's no, there's none of that. No, yeah. there's definitely none of that. Well, and it says um, it matches the tablecloth. Hop flavor, hop, uh, let's see, spicy hop flavors. I don't get any of the spicy. I get spices, just not like autumn spices. Contain the wheat. Well, yeah. <laughs> Some no, people that's, that's all it Oh, is. no, no gluten free there. I remember you were gluten free for a while. I, I lasted a good week. <laughs> then you realize this is horrible. I'm not doing this anymore. Well, yeah, and it's doing nothing to help me. That's, so. that's really the issue. Well, the, well, the thing is, it'll help you because you're avoiding all the shit that that's makes right. you feel right. awful because it has gluten. Or in if it. you, but it's not because of the gluten that you're or, feeling. Or if you legitimately have, uh, or if you legitimately yeah. have uh, celiac disease or yeah. an actual gluten intolerance, which like probably one percent of people that claim to do. But, I mean, the placebo effect is so strong that once people convince themselves that they have it, mm. as soon as they're like, oh my god, I've had gluten, it's like... <clears throat> so I like this, but I'm not super duper crazy about it. Mm. Yeah. But I like it. I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it a six and a half. It's... It's basically a slightly... A slightly richer, like, English-style pale ale. Yeah, what I, mean, I, taste. I, I don't mind it. It's not really my style, though. A little hoppy for my taste, a little, little bit bitter for my taste. Um, but it's it's pretty decent. I'm a little I'm a little miffed because I was expecting autumn ale to be a little more autumny. Yeah, a little more autumny. So I mean, it's it's an alright beer though. Um, I give it a six. Okay. Yeah, I give it a six as well. Mm, six and a half. Okay. I just don't think I mean, it's autumn. I feel like the person. If, I would if it was advertised as something different. It's I mean. just like a, if, it, if it was advertised just as an English pale ale, you, then you, I would, you'd probably I would be like, like yeah. It. Yeah. Well, I feel like the person 
that likes this style is really going to like it. Yeah, if you generally like Goose Island products, most of them are pretty hoppy. So if you like Goose Island products, you'll probably like it. Or if a hoppy red ale sounds good to you, you yeah, probably will true. like it because... It's good at that. Yeah. yeah. You um, don't expect the There's no false spices. spices. Are you yawning? Yes. You only got 11 hours of sleep. I mean, that, you know. I think that's the problem. I slept too much. For God's sake. All right. Well, yeah, you mm -hmm. need some nap to get rid of that. Yeah. It's just a bunch of bones. Oh, God. I'm just. Oh, yeah. It's... I saw a bunch of bones last night. Yeah, that's true. You gave a six and a half? Mm -hmm. You gave a six? Yep. You gave a six? Oh, yeah. All right. Two six and a halves and a six. Or, sorry, two six and a halves and two sixes. This has been the Goose Island Autumn Ale. Spicy hot flavors and dry finish. Anything else to add at all? Oh. Oh, no? Yeah. None? Taste Tour will be back. Thanks for joining us. Join us again on some more episodes. All coming to you at 4K Ultra High Definition Resolution via the Sony FDR AX33. But if they, if they can't even watch it in 4K, they don't care. It's going to look better even in 1080. All right. We'll be back. We'll see.